three years. What do you associate with three years? In Japan, graduating from junior high school takes three years. I'm sure that many things happen to you during the time. You study a lot, you're busy with club activities, or maybe you experience your first love. But there's another place where people spend three years of their life. That is the toilet. Research by the World Toilet Organization shows that people spend three years of their lifetime on the toilet. We can see that toilets have a great impact on our life, even though we don't talk about them so often. Here is one more interesting fact. In a survey conducted by a Japanese toilet manufacturer, Toto, 84% of the respondents answered that work motivation is affected by toilet comfort. So better toilets can boost work motivation. Judging from these facts, we can see that toilet is not just a hygienic necessity, but a tool which greatly influences people and their thinking. The effect of the toilet is bigger than we thought, isn't it? We can change people's perceptions, our perceptions, through the toilet. Let me show you some ways how toilets are already changing our perceptions. Last month, I went on a hot spring trip with my family, and I saw an interesting sign in the toilet at the train station. Recently, we often see toilets with multilingual displays like this. Highway companies have installed touch screens in the toilet room, and they give instructions on how to use toilet in many languages. These toilets make us aware that people from many countries are living in Japan and coexist with us in the same society. Moreover, consider the influence which multi-purpose toilets have on people. I'm sure that many of you have used this kind of toilets before. It is spacious enough to accommodate wheelchairs, has handrails next to the toilet, and a modified sink which helps automate users with their business. Seeing and experiencing such toilets firsthand can make us aware of the needs of wheelchair and automate users. I think these are much better and more natural ways to create awareness of diversity compared to textbooks or lectures at school. By the way, do you know what percentage of residents in Japan is foreign born? Actually, it's only 1.8%. Compared to the average percentage of foreign-born residents in OECD countries, which is 13%, Japan is considered as a less diverse society. Therefore, I believe that we're like more likely to overlook problems and needs which minorities have. Also, gender equality is another issue. Japanese men perform only one-fifth of the housework which the average woman does. It is quite low compared to other developed countries. Then, why don't we tackle these issues with toilets? Let me give you some ideas to tackle these issues and change your society with toilets. Have you ever seen a baby changing table? I'm sure that many of you who know that right now are women. Needless to say, less men's toilets have baby changing tables compared to women's toilets. But Think about what would happen if we put more of them in men's toilets. 
they may change men's perception and aware of more men to reconsider parental roles and make them aware that fathers are also participating in child raising. Also, let's break the stereotype that there are only two genders. Gender is a social concept and is not limited to male and female. According to Professor Junko Mihashi, a gender society and culture researcher, installing all gender toilets or multi-purpose toilets separately from the men's toilet and women's toilet helps Muslim, ah, sorry, helps gender minorities. The more such toilets are installed, the more we will be able to deepen our understanding of gender minorities. Finally, let's think about how people with various religions use toilets. For example, look at this picture. It has a shower. How is this shower used in a toilet? Actually, Muslims from some countries use shower after their business. Therefore, it is a big issue when they use toilets in Japan which don't have a shower in the toilet. Installing such showers not only helps Muslims, but also makes us aware that people with various religions coexist with us in the same society. To sum up my suggestions, I want to say that Considering toilet problems and needs of people around us can be a learning experience for us. It may change our perceptions of diversity and make us more aware of the needs and the hardships which some people have, even in such small details like using a toilet. Uh, after so much talking about toilets, I bet you can't wait to go to the toilet right now. So when you use public toilets from now on, please remember my speech for three seconds and see your toilets from a new perspective. Your awareness will change this society much, much better. Thank you.